Many people talk about being a Christian, but what does it really mean to be a Christian in the truest sense of the word? According to the Bible, there are eight different classifications of believers found in heaven after the rapture and great tribulation spoken of in the book of the revelation of Jesus Christ. Each classification of believer will have different roles, jobs, and duties eternally. There will be many guests at the wedding of the Lamb, but only one group of believers will be classified as the Bride of Christ. All of the Bride is in the church, but not all of the church is in the Bride. Revelation chapters 2 and 3 demonstrate this point very clearly by speaking about the seven churches that had existed upon the earth prior to the end of times and details the promises each classification of believer is to receive through revealing what each type of believer is promised by God as follows. Ephesus is promised to eat out of the tree of life, which is located in the midst of the paradise of God. Smyrna is promised a crown of life and to not be hurt by the second death. Pergamos is promised to eat the hidden manna and to receive a white stone with a new name written on it. Thyatira is promised tribulation, yet will receive power over the nations. Sardis is promised to be clothed in white and to not have their names blotted out of the book of life. Philadelphia is promised to be forever in the temple of Jesus as God, which is God the Father. Additionally, Philadelphia is promised names written on them. The name of God the Father, the name of the heavenly city, which is the new Jerusalem, and Jesus Christ's new name. Philadelphia is also the only one of the seven churches promised to not go through the great tribulation which shall try all the earth. Laodicea is promised to sit with Jesus Christ in his throne. The eighth classification of the saved are the Jewish people, as a national salvation was provided to them during the tribulation in Revelation chapter 11, verse 12. Six of the seven spirits of the churches must go through the great tribulation alongside the unsaved Jewish people due to their lack of faithfulness and love towards Jesus Christ. I'm talking about six of the seven spirits of the Christian churches going through the great tribulation. God searches the hearts, therefore playing at church has a huge price tag that comes along with it. Being born again and a sincere heart are both requirements to avoid the great tribulation. It's very important to comprehend the Word of God. The Word of God can place you out of harm's way and into the loving arms of Jesus Christ without having to go through unnecessary trials in life. To God, there's more to being a Christian than simply attending church. God looks at the inward parts of the human heart. God the Father wants to know that we have loved Jesus Christ and He will settle for nothing less. God loves you and has sent me to provide spiritual insight and teaching regarding the end times, heaven, and preparing in this life now for the life that is to come. Feel free to take your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ very seriously. The consequences of failing to do so are immense and staggering. You can visit our website at stephenpaulministries.com. Feel free to contact us through the website for meeting dates and times. You're important to us. God loves you, and so do we.